Hello, this is Featherblade from the Voxel Box. Uh, today we're doing a tutorial on organic lines, or inorganic lines as I'll refer to them from now on. Essentially, lines which appear in something that is curved or organic, which shouldn't appear. In this example, I will be building a sail on this little ship which was pre-made. Um, Specifically, it's a lateen sail, so a three-pointed triangle between a uh, grey block down below and the two points on the main rung. I'm going to show you what organic lines are, as well as uh, how to get rid of them, which has been a big question people have been asking me lately. So what I'm going to do, firstly, is just fill out the sail and show you what organic lines are. Now, as I'm moving these down, I'm just using a method called extrusion. Taking what I've set as a base up the top and then just pulling it straight down. Extrusion methods can be used in a pyramid, for example, when you just move every block in by one and then go up to the next layer on a pyramid. Or in a boat, on the hull, when you just narrow it down all at the same time. Extrusions are incorrect and... whoops mean to make that. Extrusions are incorrect as far as uh, how curvature goes. See now this sail to the untrained eye looks okay. You could actually use this um, if you just wanted to leave it flat but this is the voxel box we don't do that. But the lines that I'm talking about when I say organic lines are the vertical ones where there are shadows. I'm going up and down one of them right now. With the uh, lighting system in Minecraft, the shadows highlight areas where there is a, a corner. And this further enhances the effect that there is vertical lines on the sail, which isn't true. This sail is plain wall. So I'm going to get rid of that by puffing out the sails. But not all the way down. I'm going to leave little corners and things. And these corners, rather than make a giant vertical line, create ruffles. And ruffles are natural. You expect to see them in sails. Which makes them a bit nicer to look at. And will improve the overall uh, dramatics as well of the sail. Won't look quite nearly as flat nor as uh, bad. Let's just say it's improving it. So already here we've got sort of a sail, and it actually looks okay. But I want to make this a windswept sail. I want to make this puffing out fully. And uh, I also need to rig it to the stone block on the bottom uh, right here. So I'll go ahead and set where I want to make the sail to go. Let's see, just starting up a base, pull it out towards here and make the corner. This though, just pulling out and extruding, creates more of these organic lines. Right here, we've got a particular type of one where you get a single point corner in which multiple levels of changes are happening. If you see the difference, here I remove the point, here I place it back again. Those points, when occurring in a vast number, can create just vast annoyance. In particular, if you go diagonally uh, and upwards at the same time. Like this. And that creates a very horrible effect, which is sometimes what happens when you try curving sails. So we'll be getting rid of this by puffing out. Uh, that's the main uh, fix. That's the main fix for organic lines, is to puff out the sail, or puff out if it's a, a bird or something, you puff out its belly, You, if it's a hull, you puff out the hull more, you make it thick. And all this does is, um, firstly makes the thing more 3D, 
and that's always a good idea is making what you're building 3D because this is Minecraft this is not pixel craft and um, it'll remove all of the weird looking lines wherever they converge in a giant pattern it's the breaking of patterns which is especially important so let's just pull the sail out now Right, once I'm uh, happy with what the sail is, notice how I've, how I've extended out in circles uh, as I'm going out this way. The bottom is thicker than the top coming out, and even starts to round back as it gets closer to the edge. And that just adds more depth. The more, the more times you can go backwards and forwards on a wall, or in a sail, or in a hull, or a dragon, the more faces of blocks you get to show, and the more faces you show, the more perspective you're showing. So that's another thing to look out for. And I'll just link up the rigging. So that was just a um, boat hull. Oh, sorry, not boat hull, sorry. That was a boat sail, uh, getting rid of sometimes the flatness that I've seen on other people's boats, where they just create a giant flat sail, and then p making it bigger, puffing it out, pulling it forwards, making it windswept with ruffles, and then after that, getting rid of points that drag attention, and uh, create flowing curvature across the whole sail. Um, yes, that was Featherblade from the Voxel Box.